17, Rihanna Lush Fenty Beauty. With not 10, not 20, but 40 shades of foundation. This diverse shade range kicked off what we now know as the Fenty Effect. We set a new standard in the beauty industry that everyone needs to feel included, including our deep skin sisters. We didn't stop there. The next year, we expanded to 50 shades. Now that's what you call black history. Yes, you. I want to talk to you real quick. When it comes to buying your beauty products, a lot of the times we're shopping from these big corporations and brands that do not care about us. Especially being a woman of color with a deeper complexion, the beauty industry often always left me out and I got tired of it. And this is exactly why I created my own beauty brand and launched in 2018. Ava Beauty is a beauty brand that's creating the diversity you want to see one beauty product at a time. What truly separates my brand from others is that I really, really created a brand with you in mind because of course this landed on your For You page. Ava Beauty is literally representing the underrepresented. We are an inclusive community with women of color, people of color in mind, the LGBTQIA plus community and you. So next time you shop beauty products, ask yourself, does that beauty brand align with you? Hello all, I just wanted to say happy Black History Month. And because it's Black History Month, I want to celebrate Black History Month by just showing you black owned products. So throughout this month, I'll just be showing you a few products here and there. Not all my videos, but some of them will be um, black owned products. So today's products are by Black Opal. Black Opal is owned by two beautiful black women, um, Desiree Rogers and Cheryl Mayberry McKissick. So let's see how they work. I really love like the pigment of this brand. It's really nice. I'll be right back with a finished face. So this is the final look. Uh, you can check out Black Opal at Ulta Beauty or plenty of other stores. Follow me for more beauty tips. And remember, black is beautiful. Hi, I'm Leslie Roberson. I am the creator and founder of the Black Beauty Collective. The Black Beauty Collective is a hair and beauty retail store based in High Park, Chicago and we feature exclusively Black-owned brands. I'm excited to share that the Black Beauty Collective is looking for brands to join our collective. So if you're 51% Black-owned and you're in the hair and beauty industry, we would love to have you submit to be considered as a collective member. There will be two ways for you to submit. The first way for you to submit will be to join us at one of our pop-up locations and you can check below to look at the dates and times and locations. So the first city will be Chicago, then Detroit, and then Houston and DC. And if for some reason you're not near one of those cities, please submit online. The easiest way to do it would be for you to create a one minute video explaining why you would like to join the collective, who you are and as a brand, and what is your what kind of products you offer and what's your value statement as a business tag us online at black beauty collective on instagram and our team will look at your submission all right i look forward to receiving everyone's submissions and seeing everyone in person at our pop-up locations i am thrilled about this part of the process i'm excited to meet everyone our april 6th grand opening is going to be amazing all right talk soon
This is your friendly reminder that if you are a beauty content creator, it is Black History Month, so you should be highlighting and supporting some Black-owned brands this month. I'm gonna be doing my makeup today with the three Danessa Myricks products that I own. First is the Yummy Skin Primer. This is literally one of my favorite primers of all time. I cannot believe it took me so long to get it. Can we just, just look at the way it blends into the skin. Now I'm going in with the Yummy Skin Foundation. I am in the shade 20W. Fair warning, you only need the tiniest bit because it spreads so amazingly. Yeah. Primer and foundation are on. I will be right back. Okay, I lied. I actually have four products and I haven't used this just yet and I'm going to try and use it under my eyes and see how that works out. I'm going to go in with this brush. Definitely pat it in. Don't drag. Finally, I'm going to set with the Yummy Skin Balm in the shade number nine. I went in and set once again with a pressed setting powder, but this is my face for today. Do I need to say anything more? If you are a beauty creator, I wanna challenge you this month to do something similar and highlight at least three black owned brands or products in one of your makeup tutorials. Put the people on and support black owned brands this month and every single month. All right, that's it, bye.